Hello everyone. In this video we're going to go over the, a general overview of what an item master is. <clears throat> an item master is uh, a page of a catalog or an item inside a catalog. Think of the item master application as your company's catalog of goods. So everything that's uh, in your company that you would track, whether it's uh, O-rings, seals, gaskets, nuts, bolts, uh, paper, staplers, what have you. Uh, all the way up to engines and, and cars and uh, milling machines and lathes and bulldozers. <clears throat> Soup to nuts, everything inside your, your organization that you're going to be tracking. This would be the, this application, the item master application would be the catalog of all of that. And we'll get into the, the how it all builds and, and works together. But right now I just want to go over the general overview of the item tab, which is the, the main main tab for the item master application this is your catalog page if you will uh, this is just for a tire a general general tire you can see that this is the item set and the item set will be uh, assigned at the org level uh, but here's the item number and here's the item description and then the long description and <clears throat> here's a commodity group uh, this one's tires so we can see that uh, there's several commodity groups and uh, these aren't necessarily out of the box you, you have to build the commodity tables but each commodity group has a commodity code so uh, and we'll get into how you can build that uh, these are just data points data references so you could look up uh, how many 11 r 22s I have and every tire uh, or every item master record that had that commodity code would come up and if you wanted to see all in this commodity group again you can do a search for those uh, meter group and um, meters so uh, the difference is is uh, a meter is, is an individual and a group is, is obviously a group of meters but by clicking this rotating item and I'll get into what that is in a second now you can assign a meter group uh, you can't assign a meter group unless this is marked rotating I uh, see I uncheck it and we go back to a singular meter and <clears throat> we'll get into that in a second uh, there's lot type and you'll notice uh, when I check rotating lot type goes away uh, rotating means is this a uh, is this an item master that's gonna be associated with an asset so the the concept was is you have a pump uh, and that pump gets rotated uh, off the assembly line and you rotate a, uh, a separate pump uh, in the assembly line. So the one that you rotated out gets maintained, uh, 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 remanufactured, reserviced, whatever, and then put back into rotation. <clears throat> uh, this is a really good thing to use inside your company. We'll get into more. Uh, and I covered a little bit on the assets. But... By unchecking that, you're saying that this item master is not for an asset. So now we can choose whether it's lotted or not. We can set a maximum quantity issued, and that's uh, at any given period of time. Order unit, uh, you can see this table. Uh, you can have, uh, you could buy it by the roll and issue it out in feet or inches. You could buy it by the gallon, and then uh, I'm sure that there's something less than a pint. You could issue it by a pint. You buy a box and then do an each. Now, this is the order unit. This is the unit that you order it in uh, or purchase it in. This is the issue unit, right? So just because you bought it by the pound doesn't mean that you're going to issue it by the pound. Uh, and so they could be different. Now, if they are different, then you also have to uh, start working with conversion factors. So if you bought a roll and you're going to issue it in inches or in feet well then you got to say how many how many feet are on that roll you know so if i if it's 100 feet so then your conversion would be 101 <clears throat> uh msds this is just for an msds number or some people uh, or some organizations they'll put a location in here or page number uh for an msds booklet receipt tolerance this is the allowable receipt tolerance for receiving goods in <clears throat> attachments uh, it, MSDS this would be a great place to put an MSDS or safety related information uh, or, or even some purchase related information 
images. Uh, for attire, really, I mean, meh. But I, I love the feature of images. There's some things that you're just not even going to understand what it is. And that's where images really shines. Uh, not to mention that there's some parts that have similar nomenclature that, that actually look different. So you can really help a lot of people out in the field buy the right thing the first time by investing the time to put an image here. Uh, condition enabled. Uh, you see condition codes down here. We'll get into that in a separate video. But if this is unchecked, then you can't use these conditions. See, we get an error instantly because conditions are there. I, I, you have to delete all these out. Well, let's go ahead and do that. See, and it gives us an error. Cannot delete this condition code, and there's inventory cost for this condition code. So, uh, somewhere along the way, that was actually used. So, kit. Is this a part of a kit? We can get into that later. That uh, You actually have to identify what's in the kit. <coughs> capitalized. Is this item capitalized? Uh, inspect on receipt. If you trigger this, then the receiving process, uh, there's an extra step in it. Uh, add as a spare part. If you hit this checkbox, then when you start looking up uh, like a work order, you want to say select available spare parts. This will be f this item will be flagged and, and show up in that in that query. Uh, attach parent on issue. Uh, you actually uh, some of these like capitalized attach parent on issue. <clears throat> the when you make history. Uh, you can't, uh, or you see here, attach parent on issue. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my track, train of thought. So once I start making history with this, once I start making, uh, records, either asset records or inventory records or whatever, some of these fields you'll never be able to change again because you've cast the die. You've started making records and you said that this information is good to go. So uh, after I start making inventory, Forget it. You're just rotating. You're, you you can never check it again. Or if I start to make an asset record, you can never uncheck it. You can't like back out all the asset records and uncheck this. Uh, but <clears throat> you can see attached to, par uh, to parent asset on issue. Uh, that goes away once I unselect that. Add as a spare part. Obviously, it's not going to be an O-ring or, or a spare part in that sense, in that essence, <clears throat> if it's an asset. And then tax exempt, uh, that'll flag for uh, POs receiving and invoicing. Uh, and, and the last I'll get into is alternate items. <clears throat> this is really useful information for for people that are, are looking for things. See, here's here's tires. Like, look, you have all these tires, right? Commodity group, you just put in tire, and I, I really wish they would let you actually select multiples, but you could just pick a tire here. Uh, so this is a Goodyear tire. You said it's a Bridgestone tire. The, the, you know, if the if these were the same size, uh, ah, they're close. Anyway, if they were the same size, you could say, look, you could get this or this. This is uh, an acceptable uh, alternate item. That's a really useful field to have. Uh, when you when you're building your item master, you're actually building a page, like I said, a page in a catalog. This is going to be the information that you use to make asset records with and make inventory records with and ultimately buy new assets and buy new inventory items. So you really want this information to be uh, well-formed, uh, extremely accurate, and, and this record really needs to be robust and filled out correctly uh, in, in order to <clears throat> convey to the users exactly what they're dealing with. And, and once you invest the time to do this correctly, uh, since this is a root record, it makes a lot of jobs easier in the future. And that's all I got for, for this video. Uh, I hope, hope you liked it. Please uh, put your questions below, and, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.